Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are going to discuss today uh, factor demand function from the profit maximization approach. So we discuss uh, factor demand function. Basically, we discuss the contingent factor demand function or the conditional factor demand function earlier, and that was the basically the approach of the cost minimization. That means when we are discussing that, we are giving the condition that what will be what will be the factor demand function when we have the condition of the minimization cost here we are not giving the any condition we are just saying that at which condition the profit maximization is there so what will be the factors of production so we will not basically uh, set up the Langrange we will not give any condition that's why we can say that it is unconditional it is just the factor demand function and we will also believe this if those factor of demand function will be received basically they will uh, provide they will uh, be work for the for the maximum profit so let's start and we uh, observe that how this exercise can be started and uh, first of all very easy we will start with the production function and the production function we discuss a lot in the different uh, earlier lectures and we are just taking as for the simplicity for the easiness of the student that if this function we can work then they can work in function they simple just change the mathematics and they can apply these uh, same rules and they can get the factor demand function so cost equation is very very uh, universal very simple that means if we are using the two 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 input case labor and capital that means we have the two different costs two in two different prices otherwise if you are using the multiple costs so you can increase this cost equation but now for the simplification we are using this the, this production function and this cost function and then let's start that how we can get the factor demand function by using these two things so first of all we are discussing the profit so first of all we have to draw we have to draw we have to uh, make the profit equation and the profit equation what is the profit equation profit equation means profit is represented by the pi and the profit is the function of the output how much, how much output you are producing so that's mean you are going to take that uh, uh, the take, taking the profit uh, proportionate to that's mean how much you have been produced so other thing the revenue and cost so revenue. so when we discuss about the revenue so revenue is equal to p into q so q is the basically uh, the production function and when we will multiply with the price of the output so it will become the revenue and the cost function is very simple when we will uh, minus will multiply with the whole equation so that's been minus wl and minus rk okay so this is the cost equation now we are using the first order condition and when we are using the first order condition so we are doing simply we are taking the basically the derivative of this equation with respect to the input input the first input the l and the other input will be the k so when we will take the derivative of this equation with respect to the l so the 0 0.5 will become the base and uh, p will multiply because we will go outside and the power of the l will be the 0 0.5 negative then the power of the k will be the 0 0.5 positive and then we will equate to the 0 and we will further solve it when we will further solve so we can easily see here the 0 0.5 p k 0 0.5 is very simple this one this one and this one so what is where is the, this l l will go the uh, in the denominator and with the power will become the positive and the w will go to the outside okay and further solve if further solve so 0 0.5 p k 0 0.5 w l 0 0.5 so we can easily say this uh, and we can say this is the equation number one okay so same approach taking the derivative with respect to the k and the also derivative of this simply this term will be a zero and then the derivative of the k will be the one so the minus r is remaining equate to the zero number one step 
then this power will go into the denominator and p in the multiplication to so 0.5 p l 0.5 k 0.5 and is equal to r again the further solve and for the final step so 0.5 p l 0.5 is equal to r k so we can say this is equation number two so these two equations are interesting 0.5 p k 0.5 0.5 p l 0.5 okay so forget for a moment the other side of the equal to here and here in both equation we are just considering the left side of the both equation in which the 0.5 and the p is the same one okay so leave it if i will multiply this equation with the l 0.5 and i will multiply by this equation with the k 0.5 so it will be the balance section and i am doing this the multiply by l 0.5 k plus to power 0.5 and what is happening if we are doing this with this so 0.5 p l 0.5 k 0.5 and this power will become 1 and it will become the w l very easy and just we will multiply by k raised to power 0.5 with the equation number 2 so it will become 0.5 p l 0.5 k 0.5 the same one both terms have been completely same okay very nice then we will multiply it uh, so it will become r k in this condition we will not just divide because we what is our target target to find out the factor demand function so we put the technique that this term l raised to power 0.5 k raised to power 0 0.5 basically the production function so it is equal to the q so we will put in the both equation q is equal to l s to power 0.5 into k s to power 0.5 so it will become 0.5 p q is equal to wl this is for the first equation and here 0.5 p q r k so now we have reached basically our step and just we can say this Okay, the factor demand function which is satisfying the profit maximizing situation but we are not running any the Lagrange multiplier that's, just not, that's why it is not called the conditional factor demand function so we can say the 0.5 p q divided by l so this is a factor demand function of labor and we can discuss little bit properties the wage this is the price of the labor in the denominator which is showing that if the wage will increase the demand of the factor will decrease but either the output you want to increase so you must have to hire more labor or the price of, of your commodity that you are producing is also increasing in your market so you can you will produce more and for the for the more production you have to hire more labor similarly you can also find the factor demand function for capital here 0.5 p into q divided by r again the r is the price of the capital and it is in the denominator so uh, it is indirect it is a uh, it is inversely proportional with the capital as the price of the capital will increase so the fact, uh, factory manager will demand the less capital but it is directly proportional with the price of the commodity and if you want to produce the more output so you will must have to uh, you must have to employ the more capital so this is all about the factor demand function so please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you